Hi guys, Tina here, and this week I just finished the last season of Sex Education. I love this show so much. The costume design in Sex Ed is moi, superbe. So today we're gonna try out some of the iconic looks from the show. Oh, Tis. Oh my god, stop. It's my vagina. <laughs> this is the closest look that I can manage. Signature yellow jacket, rainbow stripes, with signature short skirts. I really admire her guts to go cycling on a skirt that goes this low. You go girl. Really, really iconic look. We are gonna try this look with some longer dresses that can protect your legs and keep them warm. Now this dress is really similar to the one that she wore in the show and it's a really good look but it's not the best if you want to show a little bit more curves. Now this dress is more tight and more curvy and this is probably how I would do this look on a day to day basis. So this is one of the looks from the new characters in season 4 and I immediately fell in love with this look as soon as I saw it. This look might be a little bit hard to recreate, especially for my height. It's, you really have to have a very oversized jacket. It will make you look very slim, make your legs look very slim and that's the look they went in in the show. But this is the best I could do, so what do you guys think? best way to wear this look it, even if the temperature goes down maybe a longer skirt only showing a little bit of thigh thicker stockings to to like protect your legs from the cold okay so let's move on to the next character everybody's favorite punk girl Maeve thanks a lot <laughs> okay so here we have some very classic uh, punk elements. Unfortunately, I think this one is the hardest outfit to like pull off on a day-to-day -day basis. This jacket is a little bit unflattering because I'm a boy. Uh, this is way out of my league. I have never tried anything like this before. Ta-da! Bonus look! Bonus look! How I imagine my character would look like if I was really going to Mordale. So since I'm an Asian immigrant just moving to England, I would need this sweater, you know, because it's so cold. I'm recently really getting into jean dresses, so I'm gonna definitely wear this a lot of the time. And also since I'm trans, I'm, all, I'm definitely insecure, I'm still finding myself. I'm, I'm gonna wear like a, a safety hat, feeling very insecure. And I probably go to Otis asking about my, you know, gender recognition, like coming out or like orientation, all that stuff. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bonus look. Let's see how it looks. 